just uh, reflecting, we spoke to you, of course, after the game, but you've digested it and taken everything in now of uh, the Lincoln result, and it, it meant a lot to everybody at the football club. Yeah, it was, it was no uh, question about it. It was a big result, uh, a result we desperately needed, and of course gives everybody a lift and makes everybody a lot more positive going into the last three games. And with the results on, on Saturday, it was obviously a really positive day and a one that we've been crying out for really for the last few weeks. You're close to achieving the aim. I know you've still got a bit to get over the white line, but you're close to achieving the aim when you first stepped in to the job to, to be a, a football league club next season. Yes, but until you can you know say for definite then obviously there's still work to be done and that's how we have to approach it with the three games that we have left but um, obviously in a much better position now than we were a week ago. If you want a personal note in your staff you know you, you've kept yourself going at very difficult times and, and you know you've set the standard now I think everybody knows what Neil Aspin's all about. Well I just think um, you know you you come to a football club, you only get a job if it's in a, a difficult time, I would say. And, um, you know, you've, you've got to get on with it. And, um, like I say, it does take time. Um, you'll always be judged on results, but there's various reasons why, you know, uh, you get results. But um, at the end of the day, the goal is to... And there's only one goal from taking the job and one goal for everybody at the club was or survival and it can be not a sort of you know you, you, people would like to be aiming a lot higher than that but unfortunately that's where we were and that's how we've had to approach things of obviously just getting safe and um, we we're now within touch and distance and um, you know we, we, we've got to make sure that we do the job I mean I, I do think and I've said it you have to do it yourself. So, regardless of what other results are needed to, you know, and what combination of results, we have to go and get some results ourselves because we've still got three games to go, and uh, we want to finish the season by by getting some results. And being within touching distance, we're still three games to go. How big of an achievement is that for you, your staff, and your players? I prefer to speak about any achievement when it's been achieved, and at the moment, it's nothing. It's just in a better position than we were, and. <coughs> Once we're mathematically safe, then you can ask me that question. OK, well, in the last few weeks, you've been playing some real good teams around the top of the table and in the in the playoff chases as well. Mansfield's still to come. There, another one in there. Carlisle, and one with an outside chance as well. But you have picked up good results against those uh, those sides that I've just been mentioning. And again, it shows that on your day, you, you, you match them. I don't think I've ever changed from saying that I'm not bothered about if we play the teams at the top or at the bottom. I don't think it's there's you know there's there's a a massive difference if you it's how you obviously approach the game yourself, how you play. Players doing the jobs, not making mistakes, like in Saturday's game, defending set pieces, trying to score off the odd set piece, and doing all the things properly. Uh, I think you just we we know we've got a chance against any team. And we know we could lose to any team. That's the way it is, and that's how the league's been. I do think um, statistics might prove otherwise, but I do think in in probably the home games where we've had a bigger crowd, we've tended to get better results with a better atmosphere, and I think that's a, being a factor. I think uh, we, the Chesterfield game was, was absolutely massive, and we got over the line. Saturday was a bigger crowd. I think the couple of games at Christmas, the Luton and the... The Coventry games were bigger gates, and we've we've tended to respond, um, you know, when there's been a bigger crowd and a better atmosphere. And the only way you get that is by doing well, and then you get a bigger crowd and better atmosphere. So I think um, it'll work hand in hand. If we could improve our form, get better crowds, then I think it would help all around. Well, you know, because you played here when it was right flying high, that there is a, a a fan base. I know there's not as many at the moment, but. They're coming back, they're slowly coming back, and I suppose it's like you, it's a slow process. Oh, it takes time because obviously when you when the, the club's not had anything to cheer about and, um, it, you know, it affects everyone. I think uh, there's been a lot of circumstances, a lot of negativity around the club for various reasons, on and off the pitch, 
and that reflects in what gates you get. I think it takes a while to build people's confidence up, but, but what they what, what supporters want to see is that the the club has got is moving in the right directions, and they've got some ambition to try and change the the position that they're in, so they can start looking forward instead of looking back. Um, I mean, I'm not one for looking back. Um, there was obviously a a dinner the other night to celebrate 25 years, and I didn't. I didn't want to go because it's not because uh, uh, of any slight on anyone. I just I think the past is the past, and we've got to look. We've got to look forward. Um, we've got to give the any new support or something to shout about, and we can't. We can't. That's gone. We've got to be positive, and we've got to get a lot more positivity into the club. Well, you will definitely lead that ambition. I'm pretty sure that 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 is your aim. You know, you're 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 the manager, and you'll lead looking forward. Well, as I say, the, it, you know, every time I, you know, I drive in, into the into the club and I come through through Burslem itself and in and around the area, you you want to do well for the, I think for the people, for the local people, you want to give them a, a team to be proud of. I think that's the thing you you want that for for people, and um, you know, at the moment I've got the job of trying to do that, but um, it's gonna it will take time. There's a lot of things that need doing at the club um, but hopefully in time we can, you know, we can achieve some. Just looking forward then towards Mansfield as you said, they up there in, in the playoffs, what's, what's your view on them? They've obviously changed the manager for whatever circumstances very late in the season. I think Mansfield at the start of the season were a club expected to get promotion or they've obviously pushed the boat out with players and brought in a lot of players early and it's no secret that they you know they spent big to to get the squad they've got. Obviously, when we played them at home, it was a bit of a strange game in the fact that I thought the first 40 for 43, 44 minutes was the best we played all season at home, and we ended up losing again 4 0 which was the worst result we've had at home. So, a real, you know, difficult game to sort of, um, you know, to draw any conclusions from, but. I must say, in the second half of that game, the chances that they had, they were very clinical. The forwards had good movement and they took the chances well. They obviously scored off a couple of set pieces that night. And all round, um, you could tell they've got some got some good players and you know they've, they've been up there since then, challenging. So they've had a run where, like a lot of teams in this league, ourselves included, where they found it difficult to, to get a win. But we all know when you win a local derby like they did on Saturday, the best possible boost for them going into the last three games, so they'll be buoyed by that, and they want to get into the, into the playoffs. So it will be a big test for us. How's your treatment room? Uh, I try and stay out of the treatment room really because uh, you know, but it's too early Tuesday to to assess. But um, you'd like to think we can go into into the Saturday's game with you know a similar squad to Saturday.